Well, good afternoon folks and welcome to uh, what has been a particularly rubbish day. Now, I've sort of come out to the famous and infamous lavender field where I had a little bit of a run-in, or I didn't have a run-in. Um, the the uh, farmer was uh, not particularly nice that morning, um, but I've come back, I've actually come a little bit further along because the next field along is actually now in bloom and it's, um, it's probably now perfect time to be out taking photos of it if in the UK we actually had some nice weather. Um, we've had some beautiful weather, as in photography weather, if you live in the mountains or something like that, we've had some proper stormy weather and it's, you know, it's, it's great, but not so much when you're trying to take film photos and it's been windy and all the rest of it. So it's just sort of quite nice to come out tonight because it's fairly, it's fairly calm. Um, and just as I sort of finished doing what I was doing for the day, I'd had something to eat and I could just see the light sort of streaming through one of our windows. It was beautiful sunlight. I just thought, oh, I've got about an hour and a half till, um, till sunset. The light's looking beautiful. I'll come out and I'll see if I can get a shot at sunset as uh, somebody suggested, I can't remember who it was now. Um, can't remember who it was now. Someone suggested coming out here and doing a, uh, a shot in the, um, at sunset. The sun hasn't actually gone down yet. We've still got another like 45 minutes before it actually goes down. The issue is, is it's disappeared behind a big bank of cloud and I'm not too sure whether I'm actually going to see it again or not today. Hopefully I do, hopefully. Um, but anyway, so I've uh, brought out um, two rolls of gold 200, uh, which I'm just going to shoot through my 6x17 back. Um, I'm all sort of focused in using the 250mm lens because what I've actually done is I've uh, got my uh, uh, my outdoors app on with the, with the GPS map which shows me exactly where the footways are and I am stood exactly on the top of where the dotted line is on the map so I'm definitely on the footway so if he comes out again I'll gladly show him that and say I'm actually stood on a footpath so um, as you can see though what I mean is that uh, probably there's a probably a good couple of meters behind you and there's a hedge and then um, you know there was there's a bit of well, it's, bit, it's a lot wider here than it is in the next field where I uh, where I sort of had my run in with him. Um, but yeah, it's just a nicely mowed through here, you know. And in, in my mind, sort of, unless there's a boundary, it's anywhere between field edge and sort of the edge of the ditch. But anyway, never mind. I'm sure he won't come out tonight. But anyway, let's. Uh, I'm just sort of waiting. I don't know what to do. I'm sort of. Yeah, the sky's going quite a nice colour at the moment. Um, oh, there is some light in the background. Right, I am going to get some gold in the back of this camera and get some light, because there is some light now just on the lavender, so I'm going to get set up, because like I say, I've got about 45 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that, somewhere between that time. So I'm going to get set up. Right, I'll see you in a second. Right, so, um, we're all loaded up, um, there is some light about, it's real nice colour over there, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but uh, just over the back there it's gone like a real nice pink, it's looking really stormy and just beautiful, I could just do with some of that over here. Um, so I'm just going to do the usual checks, make sure that's closed, which it now is, um, and then we're going to get on and do a bit of metering. Now, what I'm going to do is um, try and get all this in without a filter. I think there is a uh, it's dark enough in the sky now and the um, and the lavender to hopefully get that in um, without having to worry about filters and stuff. Um, and then really there is just a just a sort of real um, soft bit of light just on the green trees behind. It's really really soft, um, and I'm just sort of trying to see through the hedgerow to see what, how it's looking like. But I am hopeful. That I'm going to get because there was a gap between the the, uh, the bottom of the cloud and the sort of horizon just a little gap and hopefully that's just enough just to give me even if it's just a couple of minutes of fleeting light um, then I'll be really really happy with that so um, I've had to obviously because I'm stood quite a way back I've had to um, put some rise on on the uh, the front of the camera because as you can probably see there's a lot of greenery around here there's a lot of weeds leading up to the field edge and um, and then you've got sort of the lavender. Um, I've obviously got not got this pole in my shot. And then um, so I'm trying to get some sky in as well. So I have lifted it up and I'm underneath the, the wire as well. So I've just sort of slotted in amongst there. And I've got this oak tree 
um, to the edge of my frame. So that's the sort of shot I'm going for. Um, but I am now going to get this metered and then we'll um, put some settings in. So I'll get on with that. Okay, so we're all metered in now. So what I've done is I've obviously changed my meter settings to um, ISO or ASA, ISO, same difference, 200. Um, and I've metered, I'm getting anywhere from F11 and a third to um, F, EV, 11 and a third and um, EV7. So I've just sort of put... I put the seven as far sort of as bright as I possibly can do um, before I then start to blow the, the lighter areas out. So um, I've managed to sort of get where I need to be. Now, the light is there, so we're going to get on and to the setting. So I think I'm going to do F22 and one third. F22 and one third gives me one second. Just going to do a test shot, make sure everything's happy, which it is. Right, let's get this slide out now. And get the first shot taken. As the light is just hitting the trees behind. Which is nice. Right, here we go. First shot in the bag. Really, really happy with that, or excited about that. Um, it's not the best light in the world. Yes, I could have, um, I, I would have wanted better light but I just if I'm honest I've not been out sort of shooting as much as I would have uh, I have been in in the recent past so it's just nice to be out really and um and just taking some frames so I'm only going to shoot the one roll tonight I don't think it's worthy of two rolls but it's definitely worthy of some shots um right I'm just going to take another one as the light is so I'm going to take two like this and then I'm just going to see what happens for the next few minutes um, and see if I get any different lights. So I'm just going to take another one. Same settings. Done. Second one in the bag. Now, just while I'm rolling on to the next frame, um, you'll notice that I'm not swearing at my um, 6x17 back, and that's because I uh, took the um, I took this apart and um, I sorted out the little spring thing inside that holds the, the film and I also um, put like a tiny tiny bit of oil in here and then made sure I mopped it up afterwards so it didn't come through and um, I just sort of rolled it backwards and forward backwards and forward and I think what it what it was is probably yeah this has been down at the sea it's been um, sprayed a few times with water sea water right so apologies for that of course my um, uh, my memory card was full, so it uh, just stopped recording. But anyway, what I was saying is I've managed to repair this, uh, which I'm really happy with because it's now advancing fine, nice and smoothly with no issues. So I think there's just too much uh, salt water has sort of affected that. But um, just as I'm sort of waiting for some more light, there's a bit of rain about now. Um, so I don't know whether just to get on now and take these last couple of shots. This is looking a bit foreboding here. Although it is making a nice shot because it is nice and sort of pink, um, as you can probably see. So um, I might just get on and take another one. Um, I don't think I need to play with the settings. I might just have a quick look with the light meter quickly and just see what we got. So the field is EV7 still and the sky has actually gone to uh, eight and two thirds. Uh, right up in the blue is 10 and two thirds. So um i could just knock the lavender a bit lighter again and still keep them uh, highlights um right so that is going to give me now f22 and two thirds is two seconds um there probably is a tiny bit of reciprocity in there probably only a second or so so i might just give it three seconds um or what i will do is just check my reciprocity timer and this time when using the app not make a mistake like I did at Star Red and uh, put a wrong filter in something stupid like that. So let's select the right film. It's always a good start. So we are shooting Kodak Gold 200 if it is and has it on this list. And you can probably hear now that it is raining a lot more now. So I think I'm just going to get on and take these two last shots now and get this done. So F22 and two thirds. I'm going to put it on a bulb mode and uh, just not even going to practice this, just check the blades are shut, which they are. I'm just going to get on and shoot this now, 
count of three. There we go. Right, let's get this last shot taken. Get packed up and get home. So, number seven. <coughs> Same settings again. Bulb of 22 and two thirds. Take the dark side out. Not like I did in the, uh, the first time I ever come up here. No water on the lens. Right, three seconds. Done. Put that back in there. So that's just done. So this is going to be the test of this now. Is uh, it got to eight last time and then just span a span a span. I wouldn't do any more, but it's gone right past eight. It's rolling right on. Yeah, really happy I managed to fix this because this this for what it is is not a cheap bit of kit and. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit painful. I mean, it's it's probably about a seven hundred pound bit of kit that, so it's uh, it's very very expensive for what it is. But um, still, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than a um, a Fuji uh, six one seven or whatever they are. Yeah, just don't know whether to hang around now and see whether I get any more. What's the time? Okay, so there's only about six minutes now till sunset, and I can't see that I'm going to get any more. So I'm not going to load him nor film up. Um, and I'm going to call this one a day. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little video and this little outing and the uh, the images that I've just taken. Um, I've got loads more planned. I'm just waiting for some sunny, a couple of sunny days. That's all I need. I've got a really big video planned with some Karen Parison to film. Um, I'm really, really excited about making that. But I do need a blue sky day with some white fluffy clouds. And I'm just not getting it. We haven't had any since really since I've been to Glastonbury. It's just really frustrating. It just seems to have been uh, rain, moody skies and the rest of it. And I know that the video I want to make is going to take quite a long time. So um, I need to ensure that I've got at least half a day, if not more, if not maybe even a full day of shooting where I'm going to have, um, you know, sort of the right conditions to be able to shoot in. Um, and I can't guarantee that at the moment. So that's one of the videos that I'm planning. I'm really, really excited about that one. Uh, back down the star head to shoot the uh, pano uh, photography that I uh, mentioned in, in the star head video you've probably hopefully seen. Um, and then the second one is um, I'm looking to go down to Bournemouth and do some like brighter day shots and just talk to you guys about um, going and doing that sort of photography on a bright sunny day so yeah, you know, I'm one of these landscape photographers um, although I do other stuff but landscape photographers that is actually after a completely blue sky day um, so yeah it's a bit weird that I want that and it's not been uh, it's, it's not happening but anyway it's what it is but anyway I hope you enjoyed the video um, a like to it would be really appreciated uh, subscription to the channel means a massive amount to me thank you so so much for everyone that has subscribed and get me over that 500 subscriber mark so it really 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 means a lot to me so thanks a lot for that it's really, really great um, and then uh, yeah if you want to leave a comment below I always read them and I always get back to people even if it does take me a few days which I do apologise for but I do always get back to people so hope you enjoyed this one i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now